So this is gonna be a very odd video for me for two reasons. First off, I'm kind of rushing it out to capitalize on this very sudden release that's been going on. And secondly, I don't really do doll reviews. That's just not really the sector of the doll world that I thrive in, so I feel like this video is going to be a little bit more experimental compared to my others. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ari Lynette. This is a channel where I tend to put out longer form content based around doll lines, so more like retrospectives and just like casual rankings. I do a lot on like discontinued doll lines and niche stuff. And because it's me, naturally I do want to get into the greater story surrounding the release of the Mermaid's Mermaid Slumber Party line, which has been very sudden and spontaneous. <laughs> These girlies have had a very surprising re-emergence. But I get that that's not everyone's thing. If you're just here for the review, I will leave a timestamp in the description and also Hopefully on screen I'll remember to put it on, and you can head straight to the review from there. No judgement here. If you do want a refresher on the mermaid's lore and the frenzy around this release, however, let's get into it. First off, I don't think I've ever properly explained my feelings on mermaids overall. So let me just get into that quickly. So far I have four of these dolls, and I like them a lot. I think their faces are beautiful, the outfit pieces are detailed and stylish, the tail sculpting is immaculate, and something about the hair length hits a particular comfort spot. That being said, it's kind of a weird line in that it feels like it's aiming for two very stark different markets. The tails feature this colour change gimmick which is very prominently advertised, suggesting that this is a doll suited for water play, yet everything else about this doll is clearly intended as this high detail, almost collector bait product. Little accessories and intricate hairstyles and articulated bodies which don't mesh so well with water play. I feel like this line tried to be two different things at once, which I feel like ended up being its downfall. Also, charging $36.99 for one of these was not a good idea. <laughs> Thank God for TK Maxx. So, after the release of the five original dolls, five Winter Waves dolls, two special edition dolls, and two play sets by the end of 2022, it seemed like Mermaids Mermaids was due for the chopping block in 2023, with several future lines left unreleased. These included some listings for a Feet to Thins line. I know some people were clamouring for these dolls to have legs, so that would have been a great release. Another line of smaller dolls called the Sirens got leaked, complete with boxed samples. These are cute enough, not my favourite, but definitely should have been released. I think they actually fit the doing two different things at once brief a lot better than the larger dolls. The last of these unreleased lines would be made up of five characters from the animated Mermaids web series. This was the Slumber Party line, made up of Zuna, Bryn, Monroe, Kinsley, and Casey. And Casey was the one I was immediately drawn to. Something about the blue and yellow colour scheme paired with the toned down grey hair just appealed to me so much. But all of these characters had excellent designs. In fact, these were flat out my favourite designs in all of Mermaids. I think they used colour so well, they had unique styles like Monroe's old Hollywood vibe, Kinsley's cosy moon chic, and Zuna's punky gamer look. So the idea of these not getting released really sucked. Like, we were getting denied of the best that Mermaids have to offer. The only remnant of their release would be the appearance of Bryn's doll on the packaging for the Mermaids spa playset. Or at least that's what we all thought. January 13th, 2024. I get up around 2pm because my sleeping pattern is an affront to God. I'm getting ready to watch the new Drag Race on my favourite completely legal streaming site, wink wink. But first I check my Discord, as I always do, and I find out that The Entertainer, which is a UK star, has listings for the Mermaid's Mermaid slumber party dolls. In stock listings. And the next hour is just a blur. I run to the site. I look up Mermaids Mermaids and I scroll to the bottom of the page, boom! All five slumber party dolls are up on the site. Who do I get? Obviously Casey. I try to order her. I try again, and again, and again, and it's just not letting me through on desktop. It keeps redirecting me back to the order page. Eventually I give up on my desktop and I switch to my iPad, where I am finally able to order Casey. I've been checked out and she's ready to be shipped to my local branch of the entertainer sometime in the coming week. This was like... Nothing else I've ever seen, and I've been in this game for a long time, longer than I've had this channel. By the time I'd finished ordering and I'd recovered from that hysteria, only a couple of people on Twitter had clocked onto the dolls being released. So I got to watch in real time as all of these people online found out 
that Mermaids was basically back from the dead. And it was even more fun because I got to watch the US people wake up and find out. Honestly, it was wild. People were so happy, but they were also apprehensive. They were worried that they'd end up being these international exclusive releases, that they'd never make it to the US market. Others were just shocked that this thing that people were hoping would happen actually ended up happening. Like, after around a year of waiting, people had probably just given up at this point. A part of me certainly had. Some people speculated on whether these orders would even go through. Were they put up by accident? Would they end up being cancelled? Would they just ship out old dolls instead? Right now I'm filming this before I've collected Casey, so I don't know what's gonna happen. The only thing I know is that I have seen one person on Twitter get Monroe shipped to their house. So I'm ruling out a lot of the put up by accident shipping the wrong dolls theories. As far as I can see this is a legit release. So the next time you'll see me I will be in a different outfit and hopefully I will have a very special doll with me. Roll tape. So I've just been on the bus all the way to the entertainer and back. Here she is! So this is Casey. I'm sorry if you can see my light box, but I'll just give a quick little close up of her here. I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing this right. Okay, this is something that's really weird that's happened. So you see on here, her tail has the pink on it. On the back, it doesn't. And this is what the color change feature is supposed to be. So has it changed color in... I mean, it is really cold outside. So you can tell the color change thing works immediately. But here is Casey in her box. She is packaged with her bag and herself and it doesn't look like she comes with anything else at the moment. There might be a stand in the box. I'm still not sure on that. But it is the closed box version. Thank god. I'm glad that they decided to close up the boxes. I don't know why they even did the open boxing in the first place. Terrible idea. I'll just give some angles. We have a left. I don't know if this is the left. This side we have a top view just a slumber party. And then the bottom view, and I have pictures of the back of the box and the barcode here on my Twitter. So this is the back of the box, and I believe all of the dolls have this image on, but we obviously have Casey's featured image, and then this is just the description. And we've got a little picture here. So she is absolutely beautiful, I can't wait to open her but I've also got a lot of stuff to do today, so I will be back in just a minute to show you her unboxed. Right, so here's Casey out of the box. The first thing I just want to address is what she comes with. So she comes with her instruction manual and this bag. Unboxing was nothing surprising. You know, it's the usual mermaids unboxing, a little bit of a, a challenge, but I've gotten around to it at this point. I, I kind of know what I'm doing. A little bit of a generic mold, but it is still very nice. This is the kind of storage space <laughs> if you're wanting to put anything in there. It's probably like a little bits and pieces like makeup brushes and like tiny little doll accessories you could probably get in here. I'm trying to see if there's any detail on this that tells it to be like specifically mermaids. I don't know, this might be a reused mold. I'm not too sure, I might have to research that. Casey does not come with a stand, can confirm no stand for Casey. She does stand on her own but it is a little bit of a challenge because I'm kind of rotating her on here. She kind of slips. This is just her on like the straight torso because her head, it kind of bobbles to the side. And this is something I've, I've kind of experienced it with a few Mermaid dolls and also Project Empty Squared. That was a big thing where it was like the heads would bobble. Because her hair is quite heavy, it, it does kind of weigh it down a little bit. It's not ideal, but because she does have that torso joint, she is able to be posed. So it's, it's not an untenable thing. Right, I'll just pop the camera a little bit closer so we can have a look at her hair. So as you can see, um, it, it's a little McDonald's arches. So this is very much heavily gelled and I would like to definitely give a little bit of a, a brush at it and maybe break down some of the gel in there. Hopefully it'll get to something that's a little bit closer to what's on the box. But other than that, there's not really that much else to say about her hair. It does have some product down here. Like there's like little bits of gel. It's nothing that extreme. She has this little top knot on top and it is kind of banded with the hair itself. But it is a really nice light grey kind of silver with this turquoise underneath and it is nylon. Shocking I know. Casey does have nylon hair just like every other mermaid doll that I have. And now I get to show you her face. I'm not sure if this is a different mold to what they've already used but it's very much that standard mermaid look with the inset eyes. She does have those like piercing bright blue eyes. <laughs> it's very intense, it's kind of like what they gave Gwen and I kind of wish that they'd given Gwen her original eye colour 
but I'd say it works a little bit better on Casey because she actually has blue elements in her look. But she's really cute still. She's got really nice freckles, a nice little pink lip colour that I think goes really well with the, the blue and the yellow. I just really like that colour combo. I'll give you a quick earring view. This is the kind of thing we're dealing with. It's a two-piece with a little dangle. Very cute. And it's kind of a similar deal with this little necklace. This is all one piece, but it still has the gold paint and the turquoise paint, which I think is really cute. I feel like a hair is just going to look very messy over this video because I haven't really styled it yet. That I will do. I will get there. Now I want to have a little look at her top. So this is the over top. It's a snap. It's got a little snap on it. I'm going to go off camera and take it off. I'm not going to try and fumble with it on camera because I don't want to embarrass myself any more than I already am. But as you can see, it is a gorgeous daisy print. I'm not sure what the technical term for this kind of top is, but it's got a puffed sleeve up here and it's got a really nice kind of lace doily trim. The trim is up here and around here. It's on the sleeves. There is one, two, three layers of it on here. It's really nicely segmented and if we look at the back, that is full print as well. This is not a Barbie fashionista. They do go all the way around. So now I'm going to show you her undertop. Now, isn't this just the most gorgeous piece. Like, I can imagine this being so good with restyles. Not that I do very many of them. I tend to keep all my dolls in stock outfits. But it's just this little undertop. It's got a little bit of a translucency to it. It's not completely opaque. I am seeing that overlock hem on the, the edges, which I don't love. That's, like, not my favourite type of where to do a hem or an edge, if I'm honest. But it's still a really nice piece. It's got this little ruching in the middle and the ruffle. And I like that we get some layers. Like, we get this over the top but then we have that extra piece underneath they could have easily just done something with the painted on top because she does have a painted on top as well and this is the piece from the back and it does have a little bit of a paint scuff on there some of the stitching is coming a little bit frayed on there as well but overall i still think she looks really beautiful with it now i'm just going to take off all of these fabric pieces and i'm just going to show you her body and i'll get into her tail so underneath both of her tops, she does have a painted on, like a, a bralette. Got a little scallop design on here and also under here. I think this might be a new design, the scallop. So that's cool. And it's like a light turquoise colour. As you can see, she does have the standard mermaid joints. She's got the bust joint, the shoulder joint, have an elbow, of course, and a wrist. I don't think this is one of the new hand moulds, but I've seen that apparently some of these might be coming with the new hand molds like one of them's like a like a finger heart and then this i think there might be a peace sign on one of the other ones but as far as i can tell casey doesn't have any of those she also does have this pivot and kind of swivel this isn't my favorite joint but it, it, it's it's good for what it is but the one thing i'm really happy with unboxing do you know on the the older mermaids dolls they have this like like a paper wire thing that you have to kind of un thingy around the waist Casey did not have that, so that I'm very happy about. So now I'll get a little into a tail detailing. So we have all lacing across here, and some of the lacing does come around to the side. The back, a couple of the, the cables do come around here. So we have this at the top, and then this two thirds down. And then the belt does have this really nice heart buckle. It does have the silver detailing painted on, but other than that, it is just the yellow to white gradient. So, as you might have saw earlier in the box, this is the back, which is white and turquoise, and then it's done its colour change. <laughs> so, I'm just assuming it's because it's really, really cold out, but yeah, so she does have colour change, and the white little frills on here do change into pink. But I think that's the majority of the details with Casey. Let me just go and restyle her a little bit and then I'll be right back. So I'm back here with Casey and I have attempted to kind of sort out this uh, Crunchwrap Supreme situation with her hair. I did tie some of the bangs back and then some of it is a little bit loose. I still think this is going to be workshopping with this hair because it's, it's definitely, it, it's very poofy once you brush the gel out. And I still need to obviously manage all of this. This is going to be... 
a little bit more of a project than I was expecting. <laughs> Overall, I really do like Casey. I do think that she has some flaws. She has that bobble head that I was talking about. The bangs are a bit hard to manage. She doesn't come with a stand, but she does stand on her own. But then obviously providing that you position her right, because she does obviously have the bobble head and her head does weigh her down. If her hair's at a certain angle, it'll weigh her head to the side. So you have to be very mindful of that. That being said, I really love this top. I think it's an absolutely beautiful piece. Her earrings and her necklace are really nice. I love her tail. And yep, turns out I didn't even have to try the color change. It's kind of fading a bit now. It's a little bit more like this is like the, the white from before. This is still a little bit pink. But still, I, I think she's really beautiful. And I'm overall really happy with her. I do think that some of Mermaids is pitfalls with some of the articulation choices do kind of stand out a bit, but I think that's less specific to Casey and more specific to the line as a whole. I'm just really happy that this doll got a release and I'm very happy to finally have a Casey. I did go into the entertainer today to pick her up, but I did not see any of the Slumber Party dolls on the shelves. I've only seen the originals and Winter Waves and some of the specials. So as far as I know, these are not in stalls yet, but I'm hoping that they eventually will. And I hope that they come internationally as well, so that everyone who wants to get one of these can have a chance at getting the Slumber Party Mermaids. And I think that's all I have to say. So Casey, you want to wanna sign off? Let me find the camera. There we go. Hi, it's back to the old me. I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. This is not what I intended my first video of 2024 to be, but I, I definitely wanted to catch the wave of this release. Get it? Wave, because it's a mermaid joke. I wanted to jump on it as quickly as I could, because this is something that I've been wanting to happen for a while now. So when it finally happened, I knew I had to put out something about it. And I knew I was going to get one of these, obviously, because I just gushed about how they're the best designs in all of Mermaids. Let me know who out of the Slumber Party dolls is on top of your wish list, because I haven't really seen a consensus. I feel like they're all pretty evenly liked. I know that Zuna sold out first, but other than that, it seems like they're pretty evenly distributed in terms of favourites. So let me know who y'all stand out is. If you like this video, feel free to leave it a like. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more doll-centric content from me, feel free to subscribe to the Alliverse Dolls YouTube channel. I wouldn't place any bets on any further review videos, at least that's what I think at the moment, who knows. But I do have some pretty exciting things in the works, so stay tuned for that. I will leave some of my favourites of my videos in the little end card, so if you've never watched any of my other videos, stop there, possibly. Thank you for watching this video. For me and the Pog, have an amazing day! <laughs>